Hi there, Stasha here, your neighborhood period coach. And I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the energy of menstruation. So I'm going to do a little four-part series here where we're going to talk about the energy of each phase of the cycle. And I'm going to kickstart us off with the menstrual phase. We have the energy of winter during this time. This is the new moon time of the cycle. It doesn't mean that you have to be bleeding in the new moon any more than it means you can only bleed during the winter. Just that this is the energy of that time. So what does that mean? Well, winter is the time of relaxing, allowing the earth to rest, right? That blanket of snow covers the ground. That doesn't mean that nothing's happening. We know things like certain Flowers won't bloom if it's not cold enough throughout the winter. They need that freeze in order to grow. So we know that the energy of winter makes a big difference in how we feel. Um, so during our menstrual phase, we are in that winter phase. So giving yourself permission to relax, to zen out, to have some meditation time. Uh, I'm not going to go into all of the brain science for this with, these in, with this little series. Uh, but it's a really good time to let your mind wander because it's going to come up with some really good ideas. Um, it's a good time to have very little movement. So like yin yoga or maybe just some stretching. It's a really good time to just feel into your body and give it just what it wants. Uh, it's also the water phase of your cycle. So taking a bath is a great idea during this phase or like laying on the floor of the shower and just letting the hot water hit your womb. Oh God, I love doing that. Um, I used to hate doing that because I had the worst cramps. Now I love doing that because I don't have cramps anymore. <laughs> See how that little difference makes a huge difference. Um, but it's that phase. So really relaxing, really allowing things to just be released, relaxed and chilled. Um, very relaxing and uh, nurturing movement. That's the word I wanted, nurturing movement. Uh, and I'm going to give you one self-care ritual for each of the four phases. And so in the menstrual phase, the self-care ritual that I'm going to give to you is actually, and I'm going to not say bath because not everyone has a bathtub because um, that's mine. Uh, but one self-care ritual during menstruation that I really like is to have something red, light a red candle, wear a red piece of clothing, put red sheets on your bed, uh, bust out your red teacup or your red wine glass. Um, we have uh, wine glasses that are painted, and there's one that's painted with red flowers. So guess which wine glass I drink out of during the menstrual phase, even if I'm just drinking soda water. I'm still drinking out of that fancy red wine glass, right? So um, what's something that is just for you, that's just your own little ceremony or ritual, something that just feels good to you and celebrates this self-care part of your cycle? I, I highly suggest finding something red. All right. If you haven't signed up for the Red Circle Summit, please click the link. We talk a lot about rituals and menstruation and different things that you can do, ceremony, all sorts of cool stuff. There's lots of speakers that talk about it, actually. So I hope that you've taken a look at the Red Circle Summit. Um, click the link if you haven't yet. And uh, I will see you on the inside.